Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial and you are watching KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the interface default methods in Java 8. So as we know that Java 8 has added support for default methods as well as static methods to interfaces. In this video, we will talk about interface default method in Java. Right. So why Java 8 allowed to add a uh, methods definition in the interface itself. So let's uh, try to understand the prior version of JDK means uh, till JDK 1.7. So there was a problem with interfaces in Java that they were not open to extension, right? Which means if there was a need to add new method to an interface, it would have broken the existing Im implementation of these interfaces, right? Thus it was imperative that all the classes implementing that interface had to provide implementation for newly added method even if the method was not needed thus interfaces were not easy to evolve and that's the reason java is allowed uh, to add a, a method definition uh, in the interfaces itself right so when we talk about the java 8 interface default method uh, with the release of Java 8, it is now possible to add default method in interfaces as, uh, as well, right? So just like you have a method definition in the class, uh, uh, whether in, you have a concrete class or abstract class, you can uh, specify, you can define a method body itself. Similarly, now Java 8 onwards, you can define a method definition in the interface itself. Now, thus making them easier to ev evolve, right? With the addition of default method to an interface, addition of new method even to an interface will not break the pre-existing code like uh, if uh, let's say in uh, one interface uh, like uh, interface i1 is going to implement by many classes and tomorrow if you would like to add one more method as a default method in the interface that that is not going to force the all the implementation class to implement this method right and that's that's what uh, we used to tell uh, now uh, Java 8 onwards uh, interface is also easy to evolve like abstract classes. Now Java interface default method example we'll see uh, in this video tutorial as well. An interface default method in Java is defined the same way uh, a method will be defined in a class, right? One difference is that in interface default method is preceded by the keyword default. Let's try to understand how we can define a default method in an in interface. So already I have created a project uh, to make you understand how you can define a method itself in the interface. So first of all, make sure that you have support of uh, uh, JDK 1.8 in your Eclipse. So how you will come to know whether your Eclipse supports JDK 1.2 or not? Click on the project and go to the properties and here you have option for compiler, right? If you have a here, if you can see a compiler version 1.8, then then you will understand your Eclipse supports JDK 1.8. Even this my Eclipse supports Java 9 as well, right? So that's the way to check uh, whether uh, your Eclipse supports uh, JDK 1.8 or Java 8 or not, right? If your Eclipse supports Java 8, then you can uh, define a method inside a interface. So here you can see I have an interface, my interface, it's called my interface. And I have a one abstract method, right? So this declares only uh, this is a method declaration only and I have one default method as well, right? And uh, here I have provided the default implementation, right? So method name is called display greeting returns a string and this method is preceded with the default keyword, right? And that's that returns just an a string, right? So if you remove this default keyword, then this will show you the compilation error. Right. So if you are going to define a method inside an interface from Java 8 onwards, then you, your method should be preceded with the default keyword. Right. Now, now how this default method you are going to use. Right. So now we required a basically one of the implementation class for this interface. So that's what in client one, I have a class is called my class, which implements this my interface. So once my class implements my interface then uh, this class has to override uh, that abstract method which is over here right uh, so here we have overridden method one and that is written is just an integer right 
but overriding this default method up to you whether you want to override it or not this is optional right if you do not override then uh, implementation class will uh, will be accessed this method only right so here you can see uh, this uh, class only implements uh, method one and in this class i have a main method and there i have created an reference of my interface and i have assigned an object of implementation class and here when i'm trying to uh, call method one then this method one will be called and the value 20 will be returned and uh, when i'm trying to call display greeting method then basically default method provided by the inter interface itself will be called right so if i run this application then let's see what output we are getting So uh, here you can see it can be seen that uh, in my interface uh, uh, my interface interface there is a default method uh, display greeting right display greeting uh, he, uh, display greeting uh, here uh, implementation class is not overriding the uh, providing uh, its impl own implementation of the default method and thus the default me method is used and we are getting implement uh, output from the default implementation itself right and uh, for overridden method we are getting value from here right now thing is that uh, now second example what i am inclined to what i have done i have overridden method one as well as uh, uh, that that default implementation also i have overridden so as i said this is up to you whether you want to override or not so in in client 2 package i have a class with the same name and here also i have overridden just uh, you can see the comment overriding the default method of my interfaces right now uh, in main method code, code is as it is now uh, at this time if i run this application then you can see the output right it can be seen how output has changed and how now the display greeting method of the implementing class is called right so this output we are getting from the overridden method itself right so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial in next video tutorials i'm going to cover some more uh, important uh, points regarding the default um, methods in uh, interfaces in java 8 so i hope you enjoy learning this video and uh, guys big thank you for watching this video and uh, don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel